Okay, so I think all of us have played the game Smash or Pass. And I think we all know when we say Smash to a chick, it usually means the Devil's Tango. And I remember when the game Smash or Pass was becoming a really, really big trend in our school, especially me back in high school. And this story is when my whole entire school decided it would be smart to do a Smash or Pass. And let's just say things ended off really badly with a lot of kids ending up doing the Devil's Tango in the hallways to the point where kids were even getting slapped across the face. But before the story starts, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, I am currently live streaming live to you guys on Bubba Gaming. And also follow me on Instagram if you guys have crazy stories like this one. And on top of that, follow me because I'm hotter than you. Duh. Anyways, let's get straight into this crazy story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back when I was in high school. This is my grade 11 year, and I remember around this time, Smash and Pass was a really big deal. I don't know why so many kids in my school kept walking up to each other with their iPhones pulled out saying, hey, smash or pass. Hey, smash or pass. And then like people started making up other ones like kiss or slap. I don't know. Basically, it was all for TikTok and it was all trend. And I remember my teachers would always try to get in on it as well. Like they would be like, Bubba, homework or detention. And I remember like it got to the point where it was annoying, knowing that there was going to be an or after everything. Like, think about it, guys. It, it was it was stupid. But going on with the story, I remember one time my buddy walked up to me saying, yo, bro, I had such a big brain idea. And I asked him what? And usually this guy comes up with the most dumbest ideas. But since he was somewhat popular, since he was in the basketball team, most people just would just listen to him and just let him speak. So I remember telling him what? And then he said, bro, what if we do a giant smasher pass in the cafeteria? What do you mean? And basically what we ended up doing was basically we would have a lineup of girls going to from one side of the cafeteria and a lineup of guys in the other side of the cafeteria. And in the middle would be one of us telling them, okay, smash or pass. And basically one guy would swipe and then the other guy would get a turn and then the other girl guy would get a turn and it would just go through a whole entire list of people and it would run for almost an hour and a half, which was our lunch period. At first I thought it was a really bad idea. I thought this was never gonna work. Knowing how stupid this would be, like a smash or pass in a school, teachers wouldn't even allow it until he said, bro, obviously we do it secretly. We do it in the cafeteria when nobody's there. I told him that's not even possible. I told him that's not even possible because, well, we're all in school. And he said, well, what if we do it at lunch? Because usually at lunchtime, teachers would be at break. So he wanted to do it at lunchtime because he thought it would be smarter because everyone would already be at the cafeteria ready to play smash or pass. So I told him, all right, man, just spread the word. Let's see what happens. And he ended up going throughout the entire school, basically telling girls, telling guys, and basically telling everyone, including me, that they were doing smash or pass at our school. Now, at first, word got out to a decent amount of people. It got to the point where people were making Snapchat group chats saying, oh, I'm definitely going to say smash to this girl. Oh, I would so do the devil's tango right on the spot if he accepts me. Like, it got to the point where it was getting intense. It got to the point where guys were looking at girls and girls were looking at guys and rating them on a scale of one to 10. And let's just say the whole school became a whole judgmental school and it sucked. Especially me. I started to realize that I could smash a lot more girls in my high school knowing that it kind of helped me try to choose my targets for the next year. But going on with the story, I remember when it became kind of around lunchtime, everyone was excited. And I remember even some people ended up leaving class early just so they could go to the cafeteria and basically get a head start on doing their daily smasher pass. And then when the lunch bell rang, oh my goodness. And the lineup ended up going all the way to the hallway. The freaking hallway. And thus the game began. I remember everyone lined up and basically guys kept going smashing or passing girls. And let's just say if both proved to do smash, they get to hang out with each other after. Basically, once you got your smash, you basically get to move on and hang out with them and smash with them. Or do the devil's tango. We said that as a joke when we were first telling the rules about smash or pass, but let's just say people took it literally. I remember it got to the point where I want to say over 50 kids ended up getting a smash. Smash. And those 50 kids ended up leaving the school, but some of them ended up staying in school hiding. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember we were still doing this whole smash or pass thing. You know, we were still going on with the whole line of people until I realized something. Our teachers were in the lineup thinking that the lineup was for the cafeteria. Now, this is where things got really funny because I remember I went outside to make sure everyone was still in line. And when I saw the teachers there, I told them, oh, uh, I'm sorry, the cafeteria is closed today. I remember my teachers looked at me and they're like, well, but don't you think we would know if the cafeteria was closed. Are, are you are you joking right now? What's going on in there? And basically, teachers wanted to go see what was going on. But if they saw that we were doing smash or pass in the cafeteria, we would be in serious trouble. So I remember I told them, oh, uh, so I joined the leadership team. And basically, I, uh, I, I was doing this thing where, you know, we're doing voting for student council president. We didn't have school council president until like two months later. But anyways, I made up that lie and they believed it. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then after that, they ended up leaving the line 
up going to the, you know, cafeteria, getting their food and dipping. And then no teachers were left. Thank God. So going on, I remember I went back to my friend in the middle of the cafeteria where Smash It Pass was happening. And I told him, bro, that was a close one. He said, dude, just keep a lookout and also try to find the other kids in school. I remember we almost got halfway through the lineup. And I remember I went out looking for basically some students that were a part of this game. I just wanted to get their input or maybe get footage for this video we were going to do. And let's just say, I remember I walked into a classroom and when I walked in there, I ended up seeing two kids that voted smash on each other doing the devil's tango in a classroom. And I remember I was like, okay, that's weird. So I didn't interrupt them, but I ended up going to the bathroom afterwards. And when I went to the bathroom, I ended up seeing two more kids doing the devil's tango that voted on each other. At this point, I knew what was going on. Let's just say people were taking smasher pass too literally to the point where I knew we were going to get busted. So to play it safe, I remember I ended up going back to my friend saying, dude, everyone's in a love shack right now. And my friend said, no way. Are they actually doing the devil's tango? And when people heard that people were actually doing the devil's tango at school, more people started to participate in the smasher pass. Let's just say this game got so intense to the point where the, almost the whole school was a part of it. And I knew we had to figure out some way to lower this down and basically make it so that we don't get in trouble. So what my friend told me to do was to lower down the list, make it shorter than what it already is. So I started eliminating the girls that were in the lineups. And let's just say when I was going down the girls lineup, holy cow, how many girls were showing cleavage? All the girls were pushing out their cherries, making sure that they were kind of posing so the guys could see them on the other side. And I basically started saying, oh, you're a smash, you're a smash, you're a pass, you're a smash. Telling these girls what they were. And these girls really wanted to do the devil's tango with me. So I remember I promised to hook up with all of them and do the devil's tango after we're done. And basically, I remember the bell ended up ringing for us to go to our next class. And basically everyone ended up dispersing. But then we thought the game was over. We thought, okay, you know what? People had fun. People enjoyed the game. But the problem was, was that after that bell rang, we realized that people were putting out rumors that was going to still happen after school. And we knew the amount of people that played that game were too many. We knew it got to the point where we couldn't control it. So I remember this was the most craziest thing where the bell rang, everyone went back there and me and my buddy weren't even hosting it anymore. It got to the point where they were just doing it themselves. And I remember when me and my buddy were walking down the hallway, we realized that over 25 people we walked into the change rooms, the bathrooms, classrooms that were empty, the janitor's closet. Everyone was doing the devil's tango in the school. Like, I don't even believe anyone had protection. Like, it was crazy. I remember my buddy told me, you know what, man? I think we did this too literally. And I looked at him saying, dude, I think the amount of V cards that were taken today were too many. And then afterwards, I remember I had over six girls walk up to me saying, hey, Baba, like, aren't we going to go do the devil's tango? Like, you voted smash on me. Uh, why? Question mark is what I said afterwards. And then she said, uh, because you voted smash. Now, come on, let's go. And I ended up having to do the devil's tango with over six girls that entire day. I realized that a lot of girls are really worth saying smash to, and a lot of them weren't. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys. My name is Baba. I'm still on top of the world Devil's tango with your mother oh, Of course let's go Should I make it a story? Let's click record Got that TikTok with two mil Hit different with some more She said she love me, she kept Should I exit for sure? I got a hundred K for my life's work So mama said bravo